When using Meraki Systems Manager with Apple devices, it's important to think about the two ways that you can grant an app license using Apple's Volume Purchase Program. You can grant an app license to an end user's Apple ID, or you can grant an app license directly to a device. Both methods allow you to grant and revoke the license indefinitely, so your institution always maintains ownership of the apps they purchase. In this video, we will show the process of granting and revoking a VPP app license via device assignment. Granting the VPP app license directly to a device is my personal favorite way to install VPP apps because there is no Apple ID required to sign into the end user's device. So no more prompts to sign into their Apple ID. Furthermore, on supervised iOS devices, the app installs completely silently so end users are not interrupted with the app installing in any way. This makes VPP device assignment a great option in cart-based iPad scenarios or in situations where you don't want your end users to sign in with an Apple ID. So here we have an iPad already enrolled in Meraki Systems Manager. To install a new app using Apple's Volume Purchase Program, first navigate to Systems Manager VPP. Search for the app that you wish to install there's no licenses for the app that I wish to install, which brings us to the first step. Step one, obtain licenses in your Apple Volume Purchase Program account for the apps that you wish to install. Once you're logged into your VPP account, search for the apps that you wish to install. In this demo, I will install iTunes U. To use all the advantages of VPP, we still need to purchase the apps, even the ones that are free, like this one. Obtain a quantity of app licenses that's realistic for the size of your deployment. After the order is complete, head back to the Meraki Systems Manager VPP page. If the VPP app license does not appear immediately, be sure to press Force Sync Now on the top right. This is a real-time sync of the VPP account into Meraki Systems Manager. After the sync completes, the app licenses are now appearing in our Meraki Systems Manager account. I can see that there are currently zero licenses in use and that zero licenses have been assigned to the device, which brings us to our next step. Step two, scope the app to install on your devices. This process also automatically grants the VPP device license. Now that we have the licenses in our VPP accounts, we need to head over to Systems Manager Apps so we can add the same app there. Click on Add New on the top right and then add the same app that we added in VPP. While the VPP page is meant for managing your licenses, this page is meant for managing your app install scope. Now, it's important to select Use VPP Device Assignment so that the license can install via device assignment where it does not require an Apple ID on the end user's device. We can also see our devices in scope at the bottom of this page. These devices will automatically redeem a VPP device assignment license and then attempt to install the app. When this looks good, press save. Now, let's click on the device so we can watch the app install from dashboard side. When we click on the device, right away, we can see that there's one app missing. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that the event log says grant VPP device license as success and then true. This means that the license has been successfully redeemed via VPP and that the app can now install without an Apple ID. And now in the activity log, you can see that the app install is a success. Meanwhile, look at what the end user's device experiences. Look at that, you'll notice the app simply installs, no prompt and no end user intervention. And the great part is this iPad is not signed in with any Apple ID. If you go to Systems Manager VPP and then click on the app license, you can also now see that one license is in use. Also, the serial numbers of the devices using a VPP device assignment license are listed here. Step three, uninstall the app on the device, which then automatically revokes the VPP device assignment license. This process is basically the exact opposite of step two but here's how we do it. Head over to Systems Manager Apps 
and then remove this device from the scope of this app installation. After you save the page, the app will be removed from the device and the VPP license for this app will be added back to your VPP account. And that's how easy it is to install via VPP device assignment. For additional help and troubleshooting tips, be sure to visit documentation.meraki.com.